The Biosign Influenza A and B test is a clear-waved, rapid qualitative test that detects type A and B antigens directly from nasal swab, nasal pharyngeal swab, and nasal wash specimens obtained from patients with signs and symptoms of respiratory infection. This video demonstrates the nasal swab and nasal pharyngeal specimen test procedure. Each Biosign Influenza A and B test kit contains enough reagents and materials for 25 tests. The following components are included. 25 Biosign Influenza A and B test devices. 25 extraction reagent capsules. 25 flock specimen swabs. One positive control swab for external QC one negative control swab for external QC, one package insert, one procedure card. Good sample collection is the most important first step for accurate test results. For best results, it is recommended to read the package insert for details on test procedure and external QC before performing a test. Use only the swabs provided in the kit. Reagents, specimens, and cassettes must be at room temperature 18 to 30 degrees Celsius before testing. Do not open the foil pouch and remove the test device until you are ready to perform the test. Freshly collected specimens should be tested immediately for best results. Use a stopwatch or timer for accurate extraction and test read times. Do not use the product after the expiration date. Once the patient swab has been collected, open the foil pouch, place the cassette on a level surface and label the cassette with a patient identification. Remove one extraction reagent capsule from the strip and tear off the tab to open. Squeeze the reagent capsule to dispense all of the reagent into the extraction well of the test cassette. Insert the patient specimen swab into the prong swab stand in the extraction well. Rotate the swab three times in the same direction to mix the sample. Allow the swab to stand in the device to incubate and set a timer for one minute. Then rotate the swab again three times in the same direction. Remove and discard the swab. Slowly raise the test device on its end to an upright position and allow to stand for one to two seconds. Gently tap the cassette on the counter to ensure all of the liquid flows from the extraction well into the hole. Lay the cassette back down onto a flat surface and set a timer for 15 minutes. A positive test can be read at 10 to 15 minutes or as soon as a pinkish purple line appears in the control position and at the A or B line position on the test device. Negative test results must be confirmed at 15 minutes. Do not read the test after 15 minutes. A negative test is indicated by reddish-purple line at the control position and no reddish-purple line at the A or B position of the device. A positive test is indicated by a reddish-purple line in the control position of the test device and a reddish-purple line at the A and or B position of the device. Co-infection with influenza A and B is rare and should be retested. Repeatable dual positive results should be confirmed by PCR before reporting results. A reddish purple line should always appear at the control line. If the control line does not form after 15 minutes, the test is considered invalid and should be repeated using a new Biosign influenza A and B test device and specimen. Once the test is completed and patient results have been recorded, Dispose all testing material used in the appropriate waste container according to your state and local biohazard waste disposal guidelines. If you have additional questions regarding the Biosign Influenza A and B test, please refer to the package insert provided in the test kit or call our Technical Support Department, 732-274-1000.